Much has been written in recent times about the negative sides of social media and the internet more widely. The bubble or the echo chamber are just two of the spec skeptical catch-alls that have been used to describe a huge range of platforms that billions of people across the world interact with on a daily basis. The spread of fake news and the challenge this presents to the authority of expertise has been well documented and it's hard to doubt. To answer this challenge, however, is not to shy away from the likes of Twitter and Facebook, but surely, instead, to embrace it. It has never been more important for academics to engage with the public, and social media is a vital tool enabling this engagement. Social media is increasingly a go-to source of news online. For a quick and almost no-cost means of communicating your latest publication, social media is a powerful channel. Hashtags and lists on Twitter, groups and pages on Facebook, and threads on Reddit are organizational functions which allow your posts to be discovered by people who share an interest in your area of research. If your published research breaks new ground or delivers findings that you feel are in public interest, then social media is a great way of accessing readers directly without resorting to more time-consuming marketing activities. It's important to remember, however, that social media platforms are not just billboards for advertising new work. They also allow the development of communities where new, new work can be discovered and ideas exchanged. One great example is the Twitter hashtag Scholar Sunday, set up by Dr. Raul Pacho Vega of the CIDE in Aguas Calientes, in which academics recommend colleagues based on their research as well as their activity on social media. As a two-way street, social media allows you to discover scholars' works in similar fields while also promoting your own work. Aside from publishing with a policy-relevant journal, however, it's becoming easier than ever to engage directly with practitioners online, thanks in no small part to social media. As Constant Duncombe demonstrated in a recent article, governments and politicians are increasingly using, using Twitter and other platforms to conduct public diplomacy, a tactic that current President Donald Trump is pushing to its limits on a daily basis. Where global leaders glow, the politi political establishment invariably follows, and today it's the norm for government departments, military divisions, think tanks, and major corporations to all be inter interacting online. By maintaining a social media presence, academics can keep abreast of all of these interactions firsthand, while also increasing the potential for access to practitioners their work might influence. In addition, social media gives great metrics. Getting told your profile count, how many people have downloaded your articles, what country they come from, the number of profile clicks. All of this information can be useful, especially for grant applications and other important institutional uh, applications. It's a good way to present yourself.